devotee of the Lord. Next to Lord Shiva's picture, we find the goddess Durga or Kali. And in this regard, we have another statement from Brahma Samhita. Shristi stiti pralaya sadhana shakti reka chayeva yasya bhuvanani vibharti durga ich chana rupam api yasya chachastiti sa govindam adi purusham tamaham vajami the external potency Maya, who is of the nature of the shadow of the chit potency, is worshipped by all as Durga, the creating, preserving, and destroying agency of this mundane world. I adore the primeval Lord Govinda, in accordance with whose will Durga conducts herself. Durga is called uh, as such because she is the keeper of the prison house. This material world is also known as Durga. Uh, this material world is compared to be like a prison house because each of us are kept within the prison of this material world, unable to exercise our real freedom. What is our real freedom? To be eternal, to be full of knowledge, and to be full of bliss. But here in this material world, we're forced to take repeated birth and death, suffering so many difficulties difficulties. These difficulties are stated as adiatmic, adivoitic, and adidaivic. Adiatmic miseries means the miseries caused by the body and the mind. Adivoitic misery means miseries caused by other living entities. And adidaivic miseries are miseries caused by natural disturbances, like too much drought or too much water. So all of us who live within this conditioned world are suffering these difficulties. And this is therefore called Durga, or the material prison house. This Durga, or material prison house, is under the control of Durga Devi, or Kares Kali. She is the material potency of the Lord. Maya Dyakshena Prakriti Suyate Sa Charachanam Hetunanena Kuntaya Jagatvi Parivartate This material energy, known as Maya, let's see, or Durga, is uh, creating all of the material bodies which exist within this world. But this material potency is working under my control, Krishna says. There are many uh, such statements. Daivihi eshaguna mahi mamamaya daratyaya mameva ye prapadyante mayamitam tarantite. This material nature, maya or prison house, is very difficult to get free from. But one who surrenders unto me, Krishna says, can easily cross beyond it. So actually, this uh, Durga, Goddess Durga, Kali, she is the, like the mother of the universe. And therefore, she is worshipped by some as supreme. But we should always understand that although a mother gives birth to a child, it is the father who has to plant the seed in the mother before the child can be born. Therefore, we hear, have the stage statement, Bijaman Sarva Bhutanam, and later on, Aham Bija Patapita. So, we find in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says that uh, I am the seed giving father of all living entities. So, although Durga is the mother of this entire creation and the mother of all the living entities throughout the universe, she's the original mother, the original seed giving father is Krishna. Therefore, it is not the mother ultimately who is responsible for the uh, birth, but it is the father who plants the seed. Uh, so, from this we should understand that even Goddess Kali or Durga is not free on her own. She also has to take instruction. She is also serving someone. You'll find that she cannot enter in to the transcendental realm but she has to stand as, from the outside looking in in the spiritual world because her realm of jurisdiction is only within this material world. Actually, she's a great devotee of the Lord, but she has a very thankless task. Just like the prison house keeper, no one really likes him. 
but actually he's a very good servant of the state. So she is the dear most servant of God, but she has a very thankless task. She has to keep the living entities within this material world. However, for one who surrenders uh, unto the Supreme Lord Krishna, very easily, Mayami Tam Tarantite, very easily, Goddess Kali or Durga will help this person to get out of the material world. That means that Maya has two forms, Yoga Maya and Maha Maya. This Yoga Maya means the internal potency, spiritual potency of the Lord, which serves the devotee. And the Maha Maya is the external manifestation of Yoga Maya, which keeps us within this material world. Naham Prakasha Sarvasya, Yoga Maya Samabhita. Mudoyam Nabijananti, Lokamama Jamaviyam. Krishna states that for those who are uh, uh, too materially attached, he covers them by this yoga maya covering so that they cannot understand his supreme position. <laughs> 